So welcome back to another episode here. Uh, this is gonna be a relatively quick one, but I wanted to give a construction update. Um, so we broke ground, finally. Um, we have this area leveled out. The surveyors came back and marked everything. And uh, from talking to the builder and everyone, pretty much that's all they're gonna do until this hurricane, uh, Hurricane Debbie comes through. Otherwise my, my footings would just be filled with water and that's gonna screw things up even more. So today my goal is uh, just during lunch here, trying to get some work done to prep this area for the hurricane that's coming. I don't think it's gonna be too bad. We're a little bit more central um, than on the coast in North Carolina. However, we're collecting rainwater off of our chicken coop and our totes already full. So I'm gonna transfer all that water to one of my extra totes and that way hopefully we can fill another one a whole another 275 gallons um, of water from this hurricane um, we can store about how much uh 2,000 gallons i think so i think the the goal is with that is i want to use that to eventually irrigate or plant um, some pasture or use it for animals but it's free water and I, I want to use it. I just don't want it running away. And uh, actually, let me show you right now. So this tote has been completely filled with water. And uh, the goal is to use our pump here and pump all this water. It's about 150 feet to our extra totes, which are over there. I've already filled up one and a half of these totes from this process. So the goal is to uh, pretty much have all five of these completely filled with water, which each is about 250 to 275 gallons. Um, so it's over a thousand gallons right there, uh, you know, close to 1500 or a little bit more. But since this is here um, and strategically, I'm going to be able to hopefully water this pasture and get this growing without using our well. So that's part of the reason why we wanna collect rainwater. Um, in addition, this will be part of our goat or sheep pasture. Um, so we'll have some extra water, drinking water for them as well. One of the things that we're using our tote for currently is it goes into this hose, which goes around and there's out. It looks like they just drank it all. It does fill up this little water they are very, the animals are very skittish today because it looks like, unfortunately, we just had our first loss, you can see here. Um, which I'm a little surprised in the woods here, but it was a hawk that uh, Penny, our dog, she's out over there, chased away. Um, we weren't here and uh, she's rolling now. Yep, her. So yeah, she, she chased away as soon as we got here in the land. Um, and yeah, looks like we lost a duck and hopefully just one. It's really hard to tell. I've been trying to do a count, but they're all hiding under the coop there. And uh, I, did, I at least see two ducks, so three ducks. Okay, so I'm not sure how many we lost so far. Oh, there's four ducks. Hopefully just the one duck. But anyways, so what we're going to do is we're going to unhook this and run a hose through a transfer pump all the way over to my other totes right over there. So let's do this. Well, that didn't work. Well, the transfer pump isn't working. Oh, I'll have to rip it apart. Let's see if I can fix it. Just another thing to do. 
So it's been really interesting being here ever since the duck died. Um, I mean, just today. Everyone is very skittish. Um, which is probably a good thing. Um, but I think we just lost the one duck who's in that plastic bag right there. Well, it's the first loss on the farm. Um, but I mean, that's okay. That's kind of expected to have something, but, um, uh, unfortunately with my transfer pump being dead, maybe I can get it fixed tonight and come back, um, and get this all working, but I don't know. Kind of sucks. One of the updates that we didn't get a chance to share yet because we were waiting for it all to work out. Uh, we have actually been completely blessed with a free place to stay. Uh, so while we're building, we're no longer in the RV. Um, there is a church near here who had an empty um, parsonage home, and they offered it to us to live in until our house is built, which is pretty amazing. So RV life, that's done for now. There's a ton of pros to that, but there's also some cons. Obviously, we have what? from 300 square feet to 2,000 or so. Massive upgrade in space uh, with my wife, kids, homeschool. Huge, huge difference there. But I do miss being on the land. I know we, we're all starting to see it. Um, it's not like I get up in the morning and I see all the animals, we take care of them. It's, you know, we have to drive here now. Not ideal, but it is nice to have the space. So I'm wondering if, because we're not here anymore, Penny isn't guarding the chickens nonstop. Um, I wonder if that could have been prevented, some of our losses. So hopefully we don't see an uptick in losses uh, now that we're not here as much. But I mean, it's essentially the wild. I do think once the house is being built, people are here, framers are here, it's gonna be a lot more noise. So hopefully that, you know, keeps away some of the other wild animals in the, the area, but. Well, we knew we were going to have delays on building. Um, I just kind of hoped it wouldn't be like literally the day after we break ground. Uh, <laughs> but that being said, it makes sense. I don't want our footers filled with water. Um, so uh, we'll see how this hurricane goes. And hopefully, um, I mean, maybe Friday or Monday at the latest, we'll be back to digging our footers and moving this process along. So thanks for everyone who has uh, reached out and commented. Uh, looking forward to continuing providing regular updates on our house build. Um, until next time, we'll see you then. Until after the hurricane, we'll see you then.